Today we are going to learn something very new, how to connect an AWS EC2 instance using a Git Bash application. So the first option we would go ahead and download the Git Bash from a Google. So once the download is done, we're going to create an EC2 instance in AWS and create a new PEM key and we will download it to our downloads. So once the installation of Git Bash is over, we will open the Git Bash from the desktop. So once the desktop uh, uh, installation is completed, uh, we're going to use the EC2 instance URL to connect to our Git Bash. So quickly we will uh, go ahead and try to uh, download and Git Bash. So I'm going to uh, connect to my Google page. So google.com and uh, and I'll just type git bash so git bash for windows is the one that I'm trying to use today and I'll just go ahead and click on a downloading package kit so since I'm using here a 64-bit operating system windows so I'm going to download git windows so if you are using uh, apart from uh, windows you can uh, you have uh, other options to download here so uh, i'll just click on download so once i click on download it will download it to my downloads so i have just gone ahead and downloaded my uh, downloads now so i have my git already downloaded i'll just double click on the download button i mean uh, the downloads and I'll just click on next uh, until I get the finish button so I'm just clicking and installing now the installation process will take a little longer so meanwhile we will go ahead and try to open a uh, EC2 instance so I have my um, uh, AWS um, console here I'll just refresh my console okay it's trying to refresh my console now all right so it's taking its own time to refresh the account and let me just quickly check uh, the installation process see if we could see that the git is getting installed in my desktop okay it's in the process of installation and I'll just click on my EC2 dashboard here and try to launch a new uh, EC2 instance. So let me just click on uh, launch instance. Okay, so I'm just clicking on launch instance. It's trying to open the launch instance page now. okay so i'm just uh, giving a name here for my uh, server that is i will say it would this use for git so i'll just say git s-e-r-v-e-r -E i guess my internet is really slow here let's wait for the application to update the information okay git server all right so i have my git server application is update the name has been updated i'm going to use an uh, red hat uh, linux operating system i'll just wait for the information to get update so here i have the red hat i'm going to select the red hat now okay it has been selected so it's a free tier i'm going to use uh, and uh, instance types again it's going to be a free tier instance since i'm using it for the test purpose okay it's also verified the provider okay it's a t2 micro a free eligible tier i'm going to use uh, if we are using a new key pair we can just click on create a new key pair and it will get automatically downloaded to your downloads so I have my uh, test 01 that I've uh, currently using for this one and I've downloaded uh, that key pair .pem file to my downloads. 
and i'll just go ahead and click on um okay let me before i just go ahead and i'll just say uh, i've just given allow access only to ssh connection so i would say click on launch instance and uh, it will go ahead and install uh, launch an ec2 instance all right so it's the right time uh, we got a message stating that completing completing the git setup insert that means we already in the process of installation of git is git bash is already done and uh, yes so i'll just click on connect to instance so when i click on connect to instance it should uh, give me an option uh, to copy the url so meanwhile i'll on my search uh, search tab i'll just say git bash i'm going to open my git bash application uh, from my desktop okay it's going to show me uh, different options here uh, so it's git okay so i have my git bash application the logo has been here okay so i have my black screen it's open my git bash and i'm going to copy this particular command ssh minus i test spam 01 this is the key that i'm trying to uh this is a command i'm using used to connect to my uh ec2 instance so i'm just going to open my git bash so currently the dollar sign it shows me that i'm actually in my uh, windows operating system i have to mode cd backslash and enter and cd download okay okay this is not the right command cd slash enter cd down downloads i just have to type here down okay let me just remove this it's going to be cd downloads Let me just see if it is trying to connect. It says too many arguments. So CD. So let me just check if LS list of comments. So it's in my, I have to go to CD documents, CD space down downloads okay so we are right now in the downloads where we have actually downloaded our pen key and i'm going to use my um comment that we have actually copied down from my uh, ec2 instance and we are trying to connect and it says okay so we have uh, right now connected to my ec2 instance s u sudo minus i and uh, let me just be wd it's a root user or i a m who am i who am i it will also show me that it's a root user and uh, since we have installed uh, red x so let me just see uh, if i'm able to create a directory m 
KDIR space 123 and if I hit enter and ls minus LTR yes I'm able to create a small directory in my EC2 instance so what we are uh, trying to achieve is uh, using our git bash we are trying to connect to our EC2 instance we installed the git bash application and using the ec2 ssh url we are able to connect to our ec2 instance i hope you are able to understand um, some of the topics related to uh, in connecting with the ec2 instance hope you have a great day ahead and uh, bye for now